Hi, got in my Nissan GTR. Like most modern cars, it comes with a smart key. These are easily cloned, so additional security is a must. So the natural choice for me is the Pandora Elite car alarm system. It works with a factory system, so you could just use the factory remote to lock the door and it would arm the alarm system. Unlock it and it would also disarm the alarm system. The um, button on the door also will arm and disarm the alarm system. So you don't have to use this remote to actually arm it. How the system works is that you have to have a tag present with you. That's the Pandora tag. To arm and disarm the alarm system. Without this tag, the alarm system won't disarm. It would arm, but won't disarm. Now the unique thing about the, um, the Elite, this remote has this tag built into it. So if you didn't want to carry the remote, you could just carry this tag and you can see how small it is. Or if you wanted to carry the remote, then you don't have to carry both of them with you. So just that. So let me um, show you. The remote switched off. And we put the tag away as well. So the remote is now switched off. So it's no longer acting like a tag. It's locked and it's armed. It's unlocked, but it hasn't disarmed the alarm system. We didn't hear the chirp. So open the door, the alarm goes off. Also has its own immobilization. So we're trying to start it. It will not start. So, so it locks the car and switch the remote back on again. Now just powering up. Now it's powered up, it's acting like the tag. So when we come to unlock it, it's now disarmed the alarm system. Also while we're at this point, if you have a look at the remote, because this acts as a pager as well, and they say it's a mile range. Um, probably you won't get that, but you'll get quite a distance. So acting like a pager also tells the alarm's been triggered. So now we should be able to start it. So in essence, it's quite simple to use. You just use your factory system. As long as you've got that with you or the tag with you, it would arm and disarm as you lock and unlock it. So it's quite simple to use. I've now locked it. The other unique thing about the Pandora Elite, it comes with this flashing LED. So it's a visual deterrent as well. With a Pandora range, there isn't... With a Pandora range, there isn't anything visible um, like this. It's only on the Elite. Um, but the other thing is this is just not a flashing LED. It has an SOS button on it as well. So you can program the alarm system to actually contact whoever you designate for that um, in case of an emergency and it rings, it actually, actually gives them a call. I also added engine remote start to this um, alarm system as well. It doesn't add anything to the security, I've got to admit, uh, but it's pretty cool.
with the car started is still locked and the alarm system is still armed so it's still protected so any intrusion will actually trigger the alarm system off and it'll cut the engine dead and immobilize it so it's not sitting there unsecured so at this point here you could actually unlock it and drive off simple as that with the Pandora alarm system you have a Bluetooth app with a Bluetooth app you have to be quite close to the vehicle to actually do that and that's where you could adjust a few of the settings and what have you with the app um, but with the Smart Pro and the Elite which is what I've got in here um, it's something additional to that what you have is an online app so you have the Bluetooth app and an online app and the online app is where you could actually see the status of the vehicle um, anywhere in the world as long as you've got mobile phone network um, also it gives you GPS tracking as well so let me just show you if you have a look at the um, my phone that's the actual app so if we zoom out you could actually see where the vehicle is where our unit is which is in between Lidl Nasda and there's a McDonald's literally around the back of us as well And if we zoom back in again, see the status of the vehicle. So if we actually unlock it, it would show it unlocked. And if I open the door, it shows you the doors open as well. And you could actually use this app to lock and arm it and even start the vehicle up as well and like I said you could do this anywhere in the world as long as you've got a mobile phone network also switch the engine off like what I've just done there uh, the nice thing about it also it gives you um, battery voltage alerts so if you you can set the parameter up as wherever you want to go with that so if it goes down to a certain voltage you get you'll get an app alert and a text alert that's happened so if you did have a remote start you could in effect start the engine up and get the battery topped up if it's parked up somewhere So the main part of this is to actually inform you if any of the sensors triggered off. So we've got it armed at the moment. The alarm system itself has a shock sensor, a worn away shock sensor, a tilt sensor, a motion sensor, as well as interior sensor and a proximity worn away sensor. So if it gets jolted, that will trigger the motion sensor. If somebody tries jacking it up, that would trigger the tilt sensor, any impact would either, depending on the, the hardness of the impact, will trigger the, um, the worn away shock sensor or the main trigger shock sensor. With the uh, proximity sensor, when one starts appearing through, we just have a quick look at that. So if you appear through the glass, um, it gives a worn away, which alerts your pager remote, and also, it's come up on the app as well. So you get an app alert that that's happened. Um, in addition to that, you also get a text alert. And the reason for the app and the text alert, if your phone hasn't got a strong uh, mobile phone network where you need it for the app, um, usually you don't need a strong signal for, for text so it will just send you that text as well so you will know so any impact 
any attempt of theft, you'll be alerted on your mobile phone. And that's the um, unique thing about this. Another optional extra that you could add to this alarm system is the anti-hijack. Now, I would like to make this clear, the anti-hijack will invalidate the Thatcham stasis of this alarm system. But however, it is a feature you could have. So, let me show you this. We'll disarm it and we'll actually start the engine up. What I've done, I've left the key um, in the car, but I'm going to now switch this off. So by switching the remote off, I'm in effect switching off the tag. So if we open the door and then close it, and what happens, it takes a minute for it to activate, it's not instant gives you enough time for the vehicle to actually be driven off uh, before it starts to cut out. When it does cut out, you would hope that they'll be far enough away that they won't actually run back and, um, and uh, attack you. The anti-hijack is now kicking in, that's the indication. And those beeps are going to get faster and faster and then it will start to try to cut the engine out. Car didn't like that. So, if you try to start it, so switch everything off, it won't start, you just cannot start it. And then if you um, then use the remote to lock it and unlock it, thinking that's going to get you started. What I've done by locking it, I've actually armed the alarm system now. So not only was it immobilised, I've now just armed it and the alarm won't switch off because you can't see the tag. And again, About the immobilisation. So if I switch the remote back on again, as before, by switching the remote off, it activates the tag. It now disarms the alarm system. You can now start the car. That's how the anti-hijack works, but just please remember, it does invalidate the Thatcham status of that alarm system. Don't, don't use the word designate because you can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> this is not just an LED, it also has an SOS button on there as well. So you could assign someone's phone number to that um, SOS.